Welcome to this next video and we're gonna look at the online monitoring in the waterworks. In the previous videos we designed our waterworks and let's have a look at the process steps. First we have ultra filtration, we have the RO step, reverse osmosis, mineralization, UV, ultraviolet, pH adjustments and disinfection with hypochlorite and then we are ready for the drinking water network and our consumers. So with that let's have an overview of online measurement that we can do in the waterworks to have a good control and overview of operations. There are of course many types of online measurements. What I will show you now is what I believe is appropriate or I see fit based on my experience to have good monitoring in the waterworks also given that we're using a treated wastewater as a raw water source. So let's have a look at the table. After the UF I would check the flow, the pH, the water temperature, conductivity, turbidity, nitrogen, organic material TOC, and also maybe SDI, silt density index. So number of online measurement, but this is how should I, the first good barrier we have. So here we need to have good control over what's coming out of it. After the RO step, you have flow check, conductivity, maybe nitrogen, depends on how you're reasoning. SDI, silt density index, might be an idea, but maybe not. After mineralization, flow, pH, conductivity, and turbidity. After pH adjustment, flow, pH, turbidity. After the disinfection with hypochlorite, flow, pH, conductivity, and turbidity. And dosing pumps, the flow to the dosing pumps every dosing pump so you see if something is wrong with the dosing that is of course very critical and in the chemical tanks you have level measurements so you are fully aware of the level and how much chemicals you have if you need to order or if you have a an alarm level so this is an overview and I won't go in in too much detail here but if you see this video and you have question Post a comment and I will answer your questions in regard to why I have chosen a certain instrument more in detail. In the next video mini lecture, we'll look at process control, spare part, maintenance, emergency power in regard to safe operation and the continuous operation of the water production. See you there.